Hey, it's Chris, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my favorite tips and tricks for new Peloton bike owners. Starting right off the bat, I'm gonna talk about the most important ones first, and that is take it easy when you first start. Maybe you're someone who has never worked out. The next day after your first workout, it's gonna hurt. For one thing, you're gonna be using muscles that you've never used in ways you've probably never used them. And you're gonna be sitting on a pretty small seat that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your sit bone. After a few rides, your muscles and your sit bone will get used to it. Now, if you're someone who already works out a lot, you do marathons, 5Ks, you run, you go to the gym, you do elliptical, You've, you're in shape, but you've never done anything like indoor cycling, well, this is gonna be difficult. Just like beginners, you're gonna be using your muscles in ways you haven't used them before. So they're gonna give you out different resistance and cadence. That's not that happens, like you love yourself, we're pushing against 20 seconds. 30 to 50. We have to wait 40. Numbers to ride to, and you're gonna feel like you should be up there, in the middle, in the top of, but honestly, unless you do a lot of cycling or indoor cycling, you're probably not. You're gonna have to get used to it just like everyone else. So next up, try all of the instructors. There are a ton of different instructors with many different personalities, riding styles, and favorite type of music that they play. One great thing about the Peloton bike is it is very easy to search the on-demand classes for how difficult they are and sort them from easiest to hardest. So you can go in there, start easier, experiment with different instructors, find one you like. Some of them are easier, some of them are harder, and it's really about finding the one that you like best. Speaking of searching, being able to search on-demand classes by a variety of different categories is pretty awesome. You can go in here by instructor, length, music, class type, subtitles, and like I mentioned earlier, you can go to easiest first. So if you want the easiest ride, and this is inputted by the riders at the end of the ride. So this is a curated score from all the people who've ridden that ride that you may not know about. And that is to go up here to search, if you tap it, now you can search by the class title or the music artist. Let's say you want to do a ride that has Queen in it. So you can do here type in Q-U-E-E-N. And now every ride that has the artist that has Queen in the title, so different Queens here, all of these different rides by Queen. One cool feature that's built into the bike is the ability to connect your Apple Music or Spotify account. And then whenever you're riding, the music on the on-demand classes will show up on the left. The name of the artist and the song, and you can actually heart it. Then it'll automatically get added to your Apple Music or Spotify playlist. The majority of my music listening is 80s and 90s with a little bit of 2000s mixed in there. I don't really discover a lot of new music. Now I have this Peloton playlist now in my Apple Music account. So if I want some music when I'm doing other types of workouts, like lifting weights or running outside, or I just wanna jam out to some music in my car, I can bring up that playlist and find awesome music that I discovered while doing my Peloton ride. Connecting your Apple Music and Spotify is super easy here. You're gonna go down to your name, and I'm Electric Chris, if you want to follow me and then go to music and you will see here i'm already connected but you'll be able to click on apple music or spotify put in your login information and then you're going to be able to get that music saved to a playlist as you ride it you can see here this is all of the music that i've hearted throughout a ride and again it shows up on the left of the screen you just tap it and these are on-demand rides that have been out for a little bit because obviously someone's gonna have to go in there and actually program that song coming up right then so the little card will come over from the side of the screen and let you know what it is. But if you're doing an on-demand ride, it will show up, very easy to tap it. And it's gonna add this to a Peloton playlist on your phone. So those are some tips and tricks for brand new Peloton bike owner. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you wanna see more videos on active lifestyle gadgets and technology like the Peloton bike, Apple Watch, workout headphones, then please hit subscribe down below. And if you have questions, comments, maybe you have more tips and tricks or some questions on the Peloton bike itself, hit me up down in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in my next video.